Good morning, guys. We are at Heathrow Airport and we are waiting to board our flight. Our final destination is Koh Samui, so we're going to do a stopover. We fly to Bangkok, stopover for literally an hour, and then we catch our flight to Koh Samui, and we are so excited. Are you excited? I can't. Bash has been so excited for this holiday. You were saying that you haven't been so excited for a trip in a very long time. Me too. We're gonna get up to loads. We're gonna eat, we're gonna swim, we're gonna do water sports. We're just gonna explore, we're gonna exercise. We are also taking a break from our phones. So we're gonna keep our work phone on us in case we need to use it for maps or any emergencies, but I won't be using my personal phone. I'm not gonna be on Instagram, TikTok. I just wanna have a good two week break from scrolling. But don't worry guys, I'm gonna take you all along with me on this fantastic journey. So I'm excited to vlog this whole trip. I feel like I'm gonna be so present and I can put extra effort into this video since I have no phone. I'm gonna show you guys my airport outfit. I have my Versace bomber jacket. It is freezing in London, but I didn't want some, anything too warm for the flight. So this is a light option. Uh, my aloe yoga, well, my aloe tracksuit, my new balance. Versace bag and my Versace blanket. Sad times, guys. Our flight is delayed, and I'm so bored. So I'm going to open up this toiletry bag that they've given us on our seat with you. Oh my god. The first thing I see is this toothpaste. Bash and I are obsessed with this toothpaste. Bash actually bought £70 worth of this toothpaste a few months back. So now we have extra Marvin's toothpaste to add to the collection. Marvis, not Marvin's. The Yeah, I'm just saying that you've already bought £70 worth, so no, now no. we have extra to no, add to no, the collection. This one, Jasmine Min. Andrew said this is the best. Try it, try it, it's fun. Amazing. <coughs> it's just a toothpaste. Hand cream. Always have to have hand cream on a flight. Air plugs. Flight socks. <gasps> I must. Cute. Ooh. Ooh. We have an eco friendly toothbrush. A shoe horn. Because I might not be able to get my shoes on after this flight. Ooh. Lip balm and aroma oil. I think that's for like relaxing. I'm sorry, but shoehorn is so random to have in a flight package. Like who was sat down in that meeting thinking, oh, we have to give passengers a shoehorn. I'm really enjoying this. And that is what's in my airplane toiletry bag. That's very cute. It's always so cute when flights, they give you little toiletry bags. But I will definitely be using the toothbrush and toothpaste because I always feel so dirty after a flight so I can at least freshen up a little bit. I forgot to show you guys hotel slippers. I do like taking my shoes off on flights because it's just way more comfortable and especially a long haul flight so I can just walk around when I need to go to the toilet and I can take these off. I don't know when this flight's going to take off. It's already delayed by two hours and we're just like okay get us to Thailand we just want to go we had like a four hour wait time between our Bangkok flight and our post moon flight now there's only a two hour wait time I hope this isn't delayed by any longer because I really don't want to miss the flight to post moon because I just want to get there I just want to be there I want to be in the beach just arrived at Napa Sai Belmond Hotel and the view from the reception is crazy. <gasps> I think we're in paradise. This is so beautiful. Okay, so we just arrived. I got into my bikini straight away and I want to show you guys our villa. It's insane. It's incredible. This place is like more than I could have ever dreamed. I was not expecting it to be this epic. 
So I'm going to start off with the best bit. This is our private pool. Oh my goodness. And it goes straight out into the ocean. Bash and I already set up our sun lounges in the sun so we can start tanning. And then there's just like a little covered tanning space. The pool, it's amazing. I can't quite believe it. And then here is just like a seating area. How epic. And then up here is the rest of the house. And this is also attached to our villa. If we were to have more people staying, those rooms would have been available, but it's just the two of us. They've actually closed um, that house off. But it's really inspired us if we ever want to come back, um, that we know that we can get a place like this for multiple people if we ever want to bring our family. Okay, I'm just going to take you up to show you the rest of the house. So this is like the living room area. You walk in, oh, it's so nicely air conditioned in here. And you just have like a seating area. And then you have an outdoor area if you want to eat outside. And it looks out to the ocean. Isn't that insane? <gasps> I can't believe this place, it's so cute. Okay, and then you go up these stairs and then it takes you to our bedroom. Hi Bash. Oh, hello. So this is our bedroom. So nice. The view is crazy. Look at this. Oh, it's like actual paradise. This is our bedroom. It is a bit of a mess as we have not unpacked. We just kind of, we were so excited. We just opened up the suitcases, found our swimwear and grabbed what we could so we could go outside. So that was the bed. And you go in here is the bathroom. Holla. It's really nice. And the thing I love about this room is that it feels modern. It's so clean, but it has like a really traditional Thai feel to it. So we feel like we're in Thailand. We, it just, it's so, so traditional, like the wooden panels on the wall and the view out to the palm trees. It's another balcony. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We went straight for a little sunbathe, but we haven't eaten since we got off the flight. So we're just gonna walk straight down to lunch. Looking very toned bash. Toned and tanned, that's not, the goal. It's not, not for them to see, only for me to see. We're excited just to have some traditional Thai food. Very, very looking, much looking forward to this meal as I am just, I'm so tired, I'm so out of it after a long day of traveling. Uh, I mean, I just want this to energize me so I can feel a little bit normal. But we're so happy to be here. This, honestly, this is, has this place has exceeded my expectations. It's quite a walk down to lunch. You can see here, there's like a long path that leads us to the main house. Feels like we're in like a movie or something. It's crazy. So this path, it leads down to the main pool and the beach. Isn't that incredible? When we first saw this, we were both taken back by the amazing view. And it's just so beautiful. We're at lunch. We've ordered our food and I think there's going to be a lot of food on this vlog. I'm excited to show you guys what I ordered. This is a local stray cat. Eating prawn crackers. It's so cute. So we got some prawn crackers with chili jam. What's mine? Mm. Is? I want one. Maybe the other one was like mango lime and shit. I'm gonna get one after I eat because it's kind of like a dessert drink. So I got a vegetable fried rice. Thank you so much. What was this called again? Uh, <laughs> okay, you can't, we can't remember what that was hot called. Chicken, hot, hot basil chicken. Wow, that looks really good. And then we also got some fried chicken. Lunch was incredible and now we're just having a look at the beach. The white sand is amazing. Oh. 
further down the beach you can do water sports which is over here this is a paradise paradisio but honestly guys i think today is going to be a little bit of a write-off on this vlog because we are just like moving in slow motion so i will see you guys tomorrow when i'm fresh and i can actually string a sentence together because right now i'm a little bit out of it just because we are just so tired i'm gonna report back to you tomorrow but i hope you enjoyed this first bit of the vlog it's been fun it's been very exciting our energy levels have been very high because we were just so 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 excited to get here and come here but now i'm like now i'm here i'm like oh my god i need to sleep so yeah i'm gonna have my massage and then we probably will just chill and sleep all day which we should try and avoid but i'll see you guys tomorrow good morning guys and it's our first morning in paradise i'm just so happy to be here i know i keep saying it but i just can't believe that we are finally here after like a whole two months talking about thailand we made it and it's such a beautiful morning it's a little bit cloudy but for sure i think the sky will clear we haven't got anything planned today i think we're just gonna enjoy the hotel sunbathe chill but of course i'll take you with me and this is the view i get to wake up to it really makes me think why do i live in the uk why and we made it down to breakfast i am obsessed with mango so i had to just get some fresh mango i have an iced latte Pash has an omelette and he's working not a bad place to work is it Vibes, 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 vibes. Mm. Here at the Belmont Napasai, they give you these crackers with every meal, and they are literally crack. We demolish pretty much all of it every meal. I ordered summer spring rolls, and that's just vegetarian. Papaya salad, and Bash got chicken satay skewers. We are eating like kings here, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. So good, isn't it? So good. Lunch was so good. It was nice and light. And now we're by the beach. And we've got coconut waters. These are honestly the best coconut waters I've ever had. And it's so good for you. Coconut water is so hydrating. Guys, today I burnt. And I did wear sun cream, I promise. But the sun here is just so strong. There was no avoiding the burn, but don't worry, it's gonna turn into tan within the next two days, that's for sure. We are on our way to dinner. We're going to the W Hotel where there's a Japanese restaurant inside called Namu. I, I originally found this place on TikTok. It was suggested by a lot of people, so. TikTok sold me a dream. So we're gonna go and had have some Japanese food, which will be quite nice because we have had Thai food these last few days, so something different will be good. Looking very smart, Bash. Well, thank you. These shorts are so cool. And these shoes. I know some of you guys that watch my channel like what Bash wears. He's wearing sporty and rich shoes, Izzy Miyaki shorts, a Stussy t-shirt, and then a little Cos side pouch for his phone and belongings. I am wearing a free people dress. Bash is about to drop the camera. A free people dress. My new Christian Dior handbag. It's like a wicker handbag, it's so cute. This is my vlogging camera case. Free people dress, which I recently bought. I thought 
it kind of went with the Thai theme very nicely and my Ibiza little espadrilles which I got at the market. Such a holiday vibe outfit and I love it. seven o'clock in the morning and we have decided to wake up to go for a run who does this on holiday we do dinner yesterday was it was good uh, the spot starters were really good the mains i wasn't so sure about but it was good to have something that wasn't thai for a change i was nice and full so that's good okay it's so hot already i can't believe it we woke up early because we were like it'll be nice and cool but running up and down these stairs I am already tired, but wish us luck. Honestly, that run was so tough. I think I only ran like 3K or something. When I'm in London, I can run 5K, but here it's just too hot. So I had to give up, but Bash kept running. I just let him go ahead. He can run for days. So I got back to the room. I had a really quick shower and I changed because we're now off to a yoga lesson. Gosh, this is such a, a nice day. I'm gonna feel so good after doing yoga. And also, this is like day three with no phone. And it is, it's been amazing. Like, I haven't even had the urge to like check my phone or want to check my phone. So it's been really nice. I know that I, I can do days without checking my phone. I'm not that addicted. This is the view from where we do yoga. Breakfast, an almond milk latte with ice, bananas, and a Thai orange juice. We went back to our little villa and we sunbathed. I read, so there wasn't much to show you guys. Bash and I, we didn't speak a word between each other because we were just so in the zen zone and it was perfect. <laughs> when you spend so much time together, it's okay to have a long period of silence. It's good. It's really good. Like, let's normalize silence. What's wrong with silence? And it was honestly, it was so nice. We were just chilling, being ourselves, reading, sunbathing, like it's, it's so nice to just say little words, you don't need to be constantly having a discussion, having a chat, talking, the energy here right now is. We're gonna turn into prawn crackers at this rate. <laughs> this is like a tomato sweet chili jam really good. I've never actually had a Thai sauce like this before, but it's delicious. This is our view from lunch. Not bad, eh? We've just finished lunch now. We're walking back to our villa to do even more relaxing and sunbathing. What a life. Oh, this is what was very much needed. If anyone was wondering, my hat is from Lack of Colour. And this is I literally typed in on Google a uh, nighty white dress because it is like a nighty and I thought it'd be so cute to wear on holiday but I can't quite remember the brand I'll write it below and then oh my bra is just like a lace bra it's from Go Gooseberry Intimates and my shoes are Birkenstocks 
so we decided to take a step out of the Belmond and go for a local massage at one of the local massage spots. So we're just waiting. I'm so excited to have a local massage because we have a Thai massage place near our house in London and it is so good. So to have one from like in Thailand is super low key. That massage was really good. As you can tell, I am very relaxed. But the masseuse, she was so funny. Like when she put the blindfold on my eyes, she was like, good night. And then when she took it off, she was like, good morning. <laughs> so I was like cracking up like midway through my massage. It was so funny, but they were so kind. And it was like a, it was such a good massage. And I think they, the massage cost us like, like 10 pounds is that how much 10 pounds, each, yeah. 10 pounds each but we obviously we tipped because like the massage they give you is, is worth more like we're used to paying like minimum 65 pounds in london for a massage so here it's super super cheap for us i would do it again definitely you know yeah we'll just walk past yeah because it's so close to us <sighs> so relaxing we're gonna go back to our room we're going to shower and then go to dinner at a restaurant. This is our view at dinner. We are at a restaurant called Ko Thai Kitchen. This is like a palm heart Asian salad, chicken satay, spring rolls. This is a lot of spring rolls. Wow, wow, wow. So this is all I'm having for dinner. I'm joking. I've got a Thai green curry coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bash got a grief, a grief, a beef masaman curry. Good morning, guys. Another morning in paradise. I still can't believe that I'm waking up to this beautiful, scenic nature setting. Like, it's crazy. Bash and I, we both slept in. It's 11 a.m. When do we ever sleep into 11 o'clock? Most days here we've been up around seven, but we both slept through our alarms and we slept until 11. 11, I can't believe it. You can see I'm so tired still, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get downstairs and start vlogging because today's gonna be a good day. I have a good feeling. I've slept in, I'm feeling super, super rested. I'm just feeling good. I finished one of my books yesterday. I've been reading this for a while. I read it and then I stopped and I decided to pick it up again. And from the moment I decided to pick it up, the book just got better and better. And it's one of those books that I was hooked on. Like I couldn't wait to pick it up here on holiday. I made the extra effort to constantly be reading because we're doing a lot of sitting around and this just, I was in tears at the end. It, it is amazing. It's called Against the Loveless World. The author is a winner of the Palestine, Palestine Book Award and the story is amazing. I really wanted to read something, a fiction book that had like a really gripping narrative and so many things happen in this book and you're like, oh my God, what's gonna happen now? So I would highly recommend, and the journey of the main character in this book is amazing. Like, it, it is a really, really beautiful book. And it's also very insightful to how Palestinians are living. So I would highly recommend. I think I just got that on Amazon. So now I've decided to give myself kind of routine with books now because yes fiction is really fun to read but I'm not necessarily learning anything from it I am I learned a little bit from this book but I really want to gain knowledge as well as reading so my thing now is I read a fiction book and then my next book I read once that's completed will be a non-fiction so then after the non-fiction I'll go on to a fiction book so on so I'm now on to The Seven Laws of Spiritual Success by Deepak, Deepak Chopra. I think I said that right, for sure. I'm on to Law 3, so this is split up in not chapters, but into sections from 1 to 7. And it's about the kind of the categories which can make you successful spiritually, 
which can then you can then apply into your day-to-day -day life whether you want to be successful financially if you want to be successful in your love life if you want to be successful in your friendship life this covers everything and I'm into I'm three sections in and so far it has been amazing and I really understand he's saying a lot of quotes which I just straight away I understood for instance he says, if you want to be blessed with all good things in life, learn to silently bless everyone with all good things in life. And so that's to do with giving. And I always go by this. I always try and like help out friends, family as much as I can. And that kind of, that giving, I will receive back. And I'm not going to lie, it makes me feel good when I can help out those that I can whenever I can so if you want to be blessed with all of the good things in life which I believe I, I am I'm definitely blessed with amazing things I in this life and I try and bless those that are closest to me with all the good things in life as well another sentence that really resembled with me was spending time in nature will also give you the access to the qualities inherent in the field infinite creativity freedom and bliss this is why me and Bash, we go on seven o'clock walks in the morning, eight o'clock walks in the morning, the first thing we do just to be in nature and to connect ourselves with nature. And it sounds really, really lame, but on these walks that we do every day, rain or shine, we are out in nature, like honestly. And those are the times when we come up with creative ideas, we talk, things come to ideas come to us and it's just like an amazing time and space to get motivated and feel inspired so honestly without our walks in nature every morning like I don't know where I would be in life I'm not gonna lie and just reading that kind of confirmed how how we live our life and yeah it's just it's been an amazing book so far so if you guys need some inspiration and just kind of want to you have goals that you want to set or you want a new way of living you want to expand your mind Let's give this a go and also it's so short like look how thin this book is in comparison to this book there is no excuse yeah this has really opened my eyes and then reading this kind of it made me want to journal because I started underlining so many quotes and sentences that really resembled with me and that they were like things that I wanted to remember so I started writing them down which then inspired me to journal so I actually brought this with me it's just a lifestyle planner and it's I'm on day one I only started today and it's been it was just nice to write things down because I haven't been to school, college, university in the last 10 years as I left college and then just went straight into work. I rarely write and that to me, like looking back, is crazy that I have been 10 years barely writing. I write the odd thing here and there but it made me realise it's so important to just write things down by writing things down whether it be a goal or a manifestation or an affirmation is so important because you're putting what you want out into the universe by writing it on paper and I know that sounds really hippy dippy but it really works and it's a really it's a good way just to like let go of feelings if you have something to say you can just write it in a journal so yeah this has been good it's only day one of me writing in my journal, but I'm going to give it a go and write in it for three, the next three months and just see how it goes because I really miss writing. Honestly, I can't believe we missed breakfast. Like This jet lag has just got us like crazy. It's, it is actually mad jet lag and I hate jet lag. I think it's so, it just messes up your sleep routine and sleep is so important and to mess it up is just oh, it's such a bummer. But it's okay, I'll just get like an iced coffee or something and then have a big lunch. Okay, so we're off to attempt to get another massage from the same place that we went to yesterday because it was just so good. We thought, why not? We've got all the time in the world. Let's go 
and get another massage and then we're gonna go and have dinner and then peace out a new day comes tomorrow it's so cute there's loads of chickens around look at them <laughs> hi cute villa sales office and massage two in one <laughs> didn't have any availability to see us at the moment so we're just going to the shop and then we're going back for our massage it's very interesting being in a Thai supermarket it's so different to like a British supermarket there's so much stuff look at all of the instant noodles that you can buy like, there's just so much selection and the um, selection just goes on and on until here isn't that so crazy i actually love instant noodles i never have it but maybe i should grab one of these and try it <gasps> or some sweet chili sauce or all the sauces oh my god here is like a chili heinz sauce in london all we have is like heinz ketchup there's no chili in it that's really interesting. I'm sure that I'm pretty sure that's a hot sauce. We're gonna get some snacks. We're we're suckers for ready salted crisps. You can get like sushi flavored crisps. I think this is their version of Lay's. Oh, I love salt and black pepper crisps. So much seaweed crisps. It's such a big thing here. I find seaweed quite fishy, unpopular opinion I know, but I won't be buying that, but it's quite cool. I love crisps with this shape, so I'm going to get this. I know it's just going to be plain, I'm so boring, but me. Oh my gosh, they have crushed peanut pocky sticks. Let's try that. But this is milk chocolate and that's dark chocolate. Oh, they have nutty almond, we'll try that. That's so Moorish, these pokey sticks. I don't even know where to start with the drinks. They just look so cute. Look at these bottles. Loads of energy drinks. Oh my God, here's a fruit juice with cannabis water because cannabis here is legal. So that's wild that they can sell that in a 7-Eleven. <gasps> um, collagen drinks are a massive thing here. So that's like collagen with vitamin C. It's really interesting. And then loads of like milk cartons. It's a different world. Well guys, so I'm gonna be wrapping up part one of this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. This was definitely a more chill side of the vlog. The next part, part two will be a lot more adventurous we do water sports and we we just do a lot more than chilling and relaxing which is good it's so good to have a balance but honestly it's been perfect it's been exactly what we wanted it's been everything and more and we have honestly had the best time staying at Napasai Belmont. It exceeded my expectations. So thanks for watching part one and I can't wait for you guys to watch part two.